Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kathy Sanders. I'm a surf fishing guide in Northeast Florida based on a Palm Coast area. And I do surf fishing guided trips all up and down this area. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Today is another underwater footage video and I hope you stick around for this whole video because there's some really, really cool stuff. There's some fish we've never seen before. There's a fish that I had to call FWC about because it had me so confused. Now today we were at Matanzas Beach, which is on the northeast coast of Florida in between St. Augustine and Palm Coast. And as you can see, the water is not super dingy, but not super clear either. So we had some stuff floating around in the water. Uh, it was using the rig that has those floats on it, so they are suspended in the water, helps us see those better. And we're coming up to the first fish that we're gonna see. Right about here, keep taking a look at that screen. We've got an Atlantic bumper that comes in. We're gonna slow that down. You watch him coming into play. We can tell by his body shape, by that yellow tail and that spot right in front of his tail that that is an Atlantic bumper. So we had a little bit of seaweed floating around in the water. It was getting stuck a little bit, but not nearly as bad as some other times that we've been out there. We're coming up to the next thing that we're going to see here. Take a look. Uh, as soon as that sand clears, there's this crab. And that is a speckled crab. We've seen them before in other videos. They also call it a swimmer crab because as you can see, they use those little back legs as paddles to swim. He's grabbing that bait and he's just going to town on it. And within just a few seconds here, it's, it's literally just a few seconds, he's, he's got that salted shrimp in his mouth. He's eating it right off of the hook. So I'm, I'm not getting to even pull the crab in, but you'll see here in just a minute when he lets go of that, the salted shrimp is completely gone. And all that we have left is the float on the hook right there. That's all that's left. He took all the rest. And um, funny thing, throughout this whole video, you can see, notice that this <laughs> is getting rocked back and forth. The camera is kind of getting rocked back and forth. This crab is actually burrowing underneath the camera. And we saw this, and you can hear him as he's digging. He's just digging a little hole, burrowing himself down under the camera. And when I first saw this, I was like, what in the world? Dude, this is not your house. This is my camera. And he keeps coming back. You're gonna see this throughout the video. Eventually we're gonna just speed things up because, you know, it, it, it gets old, him just burrowing underneath there. But you can, t <laughs> there he is again. He comes out. And now he's going after the float. Okay, so it's not enough that he got the shrimp off of the hook, but he's, he's going after the float now. And then when he comes back around here, you'll see that he lets go of the, the hook and he's just got the, the float in his mouth. The hook's just there laying on the sand. There it is. And he's got the float now. Look way in the background and you'll take a look and see that that float we slowed it down. You probably missed it the first time. The float went flying up. He let go of it. <laughs> and now my hook has nothing on it. No bait, no float. And so this guy just will not leave my camera alone. I put some music to it here because, you know, this guy seemed like he's just clowning around the whole time. And he's just... <laughs> I, I have to laugh at this crab because he's just so silly. I'm speeding it up here for you because he... he stays around for quite a long time and even when there's other fish around even when there's all these things happening around him he's just still burrowing under my camera so we're just gonna let this music play and let you watch for just a little bit and we'll come right back So now while we've got this crab still burrowing under the camera, in the background there you can see another Atlantic bumper. It might be the same one, we don't know, uh, because they don't wear name tags. <laughs> so we've got this Atlantic bumper and he is just going to town on that second bait out there. 
he will not leave it alone. And I'm going to speed this up so you don't get too bored of seeing this Atlantic bumper and the crab just you can see that that Atlantic bumper stays around for quite a long time. He keeps coming back and the crab is not leaving the camera alone either. So I would say if you are wanting to hook up on some of these Atlantic uh, bumpers, uh, a lot of people call them horn bellies is what I'm discovering and they are using them as bait for larger fish. So if that is something you are wanting to do, uh, maybe downsize the size of your hook, downsize your bait. And if you've seen my other underwater videos, this camera's not very far out into the water and you could probably even catch those Atlantic bumpers in a cast net if you wanted to. So here we go to the next thing. We see a whiting comes in on the picture. He's taking a look at that bait. We're gonna slow this down and he jets right back out of there. So he comes in. Obviously he's not gonna see that first hook because there's nothing on it. No bait left, the crab took it all. He stays there, hovers for a little bit and then the sand comes up and washes out the picture so we really can't see what's happening right here it washes it out and then the next thing we know this whiting is coming right back through and leaving so next up we've got uh, 20 minutes later we still have that crab you can tell that the camera is getting moved all around he is still under there I'm gonna speed it up he, he's still just messing around and uh, won't leave it alone. He keeps coming out, popping out, going back in. And then we've got a, a bunch of Atlantic bumpers that come in and they're circling around that second hook, that second bait. At this point, I haven't put new bait on that first hook yet. We're, we're still fishing. I'm trying to leave this camera out as long as possible when I'm fishing so that we can capture as much. I'm trying not to reel it in too much but then we end up with no bait on the hook like we have here. So coming up next, we've got this crab back burrowing under the camera again, and I've sped this up until we see him coming out and he's gonna come around and just play and we see him kind of like using the line. It, it looks like he's grabbing a hold of the, the rig, the line on the rig and just like pulling himself around with it, which is kind of weird. I've never seen, well, we haven't seen a crab doing that yet before, but then he comes right back under the camera and I've actually cut out a bunch of this. I had several minutes of him just burrowing under, you can see from that. And then we're going to throw this back out again. I have rebaited it finally, <laughs> gotten some new bait on the hook. We've got some more salted shrimp and a fresh piece of fish bites on there. I was not able to put another float on there, but now is when it gets really exciting. So take a look at these fish as they come into the picture here. That is not sped up. Look at how those fish are behaving. And this is the fish I was calling the FWC about. They are called flagfin mohara. And when I was looking this fish up, I thought it was a Pacific flagfin mohara. So apparently there's two species almost exactly the same. They just have different scientific names, but watch how they move. I love how these fish move. They just kind of hover. They dart in and then they hover. This is not sped up. So when you see their tails moving like that and they're just hovering in one place, it's just really, really cool. And you can tell that they're flagfin mohara. I'll put the picture back up here so that you can see again. But they've got a really distinctive spot on the top of their fin. And it's kind of outlined in white. So you can take a look at that again. But they're pretty small fish. But they're, they're just going to swim around while this crab is once again trying to go after that bait. But these flagfin mohara are just looking around. When I first saw these, I thought, you know, those look like mohara, but they don't behave like the ones we've seen in other videos. But here we have this crab again, working away on that salted shrimp, and he's not going to leave it alone until he gets it off of that line. So go ahead and watch here. We've got the mohara darting in and out of the frame. We've got that crab just working away at that salted shrimp.
And next up, we see mullet again. So keep watching toward the top of the screen. We've got some striped mullet. I know the visibility is not very good. And for some reason, the color keeps changing on the camera. It looks sometimes more golden like this, and other times it looks bluish. But they were right overhead, so it was hard to tell how big that school is, but it was great to see mullet again. Take a look here. We've got this fish that goes through really quickly. It's a long fish with a dark tail. I'm slowing it down. There it is. You can see it's kind of long. It's tail. It's hard to see really well, but the tail looks dark. If you have any idea what that could be, let me know. So I'm not sure. And now we've got some Atlantic bumpers again. And I'm speeding this up in just a couple seconds here. Going to put some more music behind and let you watch. But I've cut out a whole bunch of this because they circled and circled around this bait for so long. And I don't want you guys getting too bored, but go ahead and watch these Atlantic bumpers as they swim around this bait. Well, that's all we have for today. And there's still some Atlantic bumpers swimming around as we end out this video. But I want to thank you so much for watching. We're learning a ton from watching this underwater footage. I'm learning better how to bait. I'm learning better what to do in different circumstances. And just by looking at this fish behavior under the water and the crabs, <laughs> can't forget those crabs, we're learning a lot as we watch every single bit of footage underwater. It's so cool to see what's happening on the other side of our line. We never get to see what's happening on the bait side. So this has been super cool. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, tight lines, God bless, and we'll see you.